Hey guys, this is The Hidden Matrix and welcome back to another video on my channel and welcome back to another drawing tutorial video in the series Hidden Matrix Art and in today's video you'll know by the title and the thumbnail that I'm going to be drawing classic Knuckles the Echidna. So what we want to make sure that we start off with is make sure we've got a pencil, a rubber, you can either have it like that or a rubber on the end like this. And you can have like spare pencils just in case as well as having pencil sharpeners and a ruler as this will help you with everything in the video that I'm going to be showing. So let's get started. So to start off with Knuckles' head, we're going to sort of draw simple shapes first. So we're going to go and sort of do like a really long, I think this is called a semicircle I think. I'm not too sure. Right, so it's not a semicircle, it's an oval. And I'm going to go probably around, around about here and a bit more down just to make sure I get that shape. And then what we're going to go and do is draw Knuckles' guideline for his body. This is all simple. This looks awful at the moment, I know, but everything looks awful to start off with and then basically improves once you actually start adding in everything you need. So now with Knuckles' legs and arms, I like to draw them as just sticks to start off with, the simple sticks, guidelines of where everything's gonna go. And there's no arm showing on this side. So what I'm gonna go and start off with now is just make sure that I rub out all this, cause then it just makes it easier for me to then add in the features that I need to add for Knuckles. So I'm going to start off with his mouth and it cuts off around about in like the center of this circle because of his spikes that go downwards. So I'm going to go round about here and just draw a line like that, a little curve at the end. And then you're going to go and go down like this. This is all rough remember so you don't have to do perfect lines. And it goes up like this, sort of to go round about like that, points back in. And make sure that I get this right. You won't get things perfectly first time, but once you just keep trying and keep improving and practicing, you'll get it eventually. I will definitely improve my lines once it's done as well. So we've got that there, we're going to go down here with the eyes and sort of like curve in then curve back up. I'm going to make sure that I just have his eyes a little bit more over this way as well as it's looking a little bit small so I'm just going to improve the size basically. And then we have like another bump here and it goes up like that. We will be cutting through lines at the moment as we're just creating guidelines before and at the moment we are still. So it goes kind of like that, it's eyes, the way it looks and everything. You want to make sure it kind of sort of levels itself, so around here you kind of have like a diagonal line which somewhat looks level enough even though this one's slightly higher. And once you've done that, we can then go up like this with his sort of like eyebrow area of his eye. And there's sort of like a faint line going down here so you can draw that lightly. And then we're gonna go and draw Knuckles' top of his head. Like this. And then you wanna go right back down. Just rough sketching at the moment. This will honestly look a lot better once things have been improved as well. I can guarantee that. So go about up to about here with knuckles. Actually, you know, a bit longer, I think, but a little bit more curved out like this. As we can redo the guideline for knuckles's body as you, you never know where it's going until you actually start drawing all the details and everything so go like that with this first spike just a little bit more out there 
and then what we're going to do next will be to go and go down here with his spike say it just goes a little bit lower than that previous spike as well so about there and then you can go back up starting off thin and then going wider with your line as you're keeping it diagonal there we go and then the last line you can start off with it around about here and we'll just go and shorten that line over there just to make this line a little bit bigger so it's smaller even and then we're going to go back up to connect these lines keeping the curve so if you guys can tell we've got a basic outline of Knuckles' spikes and everything so what we're going to go and next do will be making sure that we have everything in his mouth so we're going to go and add his smile so it's just a V there, a V shape and then you have like a curve like this I'll just make sure that my V is a bit bigger there just like that a bit happy for once isn't he Knuckles <laughs> and then we're going to go and do is just a oval his eye just like that simple oval and then inside another small oval for the white bit of his eye just like that it's quite simple and we'll do all the colouring in, in for it later on for his left eye we go from about the middle point of the white area let's go down try and keep that line straight going down and then curve it back up to about there and then we've got another white circle in between just like that and for now I just feel like we'll colour both eyes in just to make it easier to look at if you feel your white eye isn't big enough as well you can always just rub out slightly as you can easily make it bigger without having to draw new lines just like that, and I'll do that for the other one slightly as well that'll do for now so now that we've done that we can actually add in Knuckles's nose as it doesn't look right without a nose does he Knuckles you, you, you need to <laughs> have something to smile with don't you right so we're gonna go and start around here there's a little it doesn't exactly connect onto this line as it sort of curves down a bit and it's like it's somewhat like a triangle this simply going like this to then connect it up and remember to curve your lines just go down like this so it's sort of easier to see the way I'm doing it and I'm looking back at that that looks somewhat okay I'm just gonna curve that in there once you've done that you can add in the white bits of Knuckles's nose and that's a little bit too big so I'll just narrow it in a bit just like that and then we can just colour this bit in here just like that and if your white line you feel is not big enough you can always rub it out again the same technique for the white bits of his eye so now what we're going to go and quickly do is map out Knuckles' body so we're just going to go around like this sort of as a really his chest is somewhat sticking out as he's like standing tall like a big man <laughs> well Knuckles you're meant to be the strongest strongest of all of us <laughs> I will not bring any Knuckles memes into this guys <laughs> I'll try my best not to So with this, I'm just going to go out a little bit wider. Try not make knuckles too fat at least, guys. Go in a little bit more. Always trial and error to get the right lines. Especially if you don't do knuckles consistently. It's always something tricky to start off with. Because once I get used to drawing knuckles and everything, then I'm about to get lines straight away. So it's basically 
like this. And this line here, I haven't drawn it that dark as some of it will be cut out by like the arm as well as his hand. So that'll be for later. What we're gonna go and do now is draw Knuckles's white sort of boomerang thing that I ha he has on him. And what we can do is now just re-edit this just to make that go because I curved it a little bit too much. What I'm going to do now is just make it go down a bit like that and then rub out this bit as now when looking back at the white bit I need a little bit more space so this is helpful. So go up around about there up like this. So guys I'm basically trying to teach you how to do knuckles but at the same time I'm teaching myself so <laughs> we're both learning in some ways so that's Knuckles's white area done for now so I'll just go a little bit up higher with that just curve it up a bit to get you gotta always relook at the drawing after you've drawn everything and now we've done the stomach we can add in like the other side of Knuckles's head spikes as there's a little bit there that bit there if you can see it and then just going slightly across you have one so about if you go draw a line and then it's about here it goes all the way down and it's basically sort of mimicking that kind of thing with the way it angles and everything and then the next line probably goes if you do a straight line down about here and then just go and curve that in and then to try and make sure you get this right. I may go and relook at this later on, but I think I just need to curve that in slightly. That's all I need to do. I think and get rid of that big line so we can actually see the lines we're actually drawing and keeping. So that line will do for now. I, I may uh, relook at it as I say later on, and I'll tell you guys if I do. Of course. So this is what Knuckles is looking like so far. So what we're gonna go and do next will be adding in Knuckles's right arm. So it curves all the way like this. So you just go down with two lines like this and then it'll eventually curve down like that. And what I will do is just shorten Knuckles's body a little bit. So we get the right line and space in between everything and then go a line across like this to go up like that there as little bits of it are cut out like, like that elbow is cut out by Knuckles' spike there and then we're going to go and draw the wrist part of the glove which cuts into Knuckles here on his body and I'm going to go back down try and do the same length on this side as well with that side going down like this and then just curving it up and what we go and do now is just draw a circle for Knuckles's hand just so we can then map everything out just like this and then when we go and Draw a spike down this way, which goes like this. And then once you've done that, go to about, say about here, and then the next spike will come from this. So it goes to about there, and then you connect the two lines just like this. Later on when I add all the shading I will make the spikes look a little bit more 3D and have a bit more of a curve and sort of stand out a bit more instead of just flat spikes. So next what we're going to go and do is draw sort of the sort of this part of Knuckles' hand sort of where it connects like this as you've got the thumb and then all the fingers are sort of like connected together and everything. If you know what Knuckles looks like, of course, and then we're going to go, I think, a little bit more higher up and then curve it in to about, say, about there. That'll do. 
I'll just rub out some of these lines so you guys can see a bit better as well as me. So then we're going to go and connect the thumb to knuckles. What we're going to do with the other thing is just curve that down a little bit more. And rub that out again as I realize it curves down. Sometimes I'm a little bit late to realize <laughs> how it should be. So it goes around about here the thumb and then you have sort of like the bend marks in the thumb where it goes like this and you have basically the other one which was the line before. So that is Knuckles' thumb done for now. I will go and sort everything out and make it look nicer later on and once like basically what when I have redone all my lines and everything looks better I will show you guys and then you guys can pause it and you can improve it then before I start on to like the colour and everything because we'll be colouring knuckles in this video as well. So next off what I'm going to do is draw knuckles' leg down here. The sticks <laughs> of the legs were a bit off from last time aren't they? But now that we've got like the um, I would have done another stick down here but since we've got like the guideline of the hand and everything that makes it a little bit easier to know the thickness of the line you need and it's about down to about here where the leg stops and then you go back up what I will do is just get rid of that line of the body because it's not actually there as it just it's sort of the line is sort of connect it like if that line was there it would basically just be color shading of red now we've done that I can go and add in the right leg which goes to about here it's level with Knuckles' other leg basically and then try and keep them the same thickness as well if you need a ruler to see if there's the same thickness you can do that so it's about I'd say about a half a centimeter for both of them. So now we can get on with the next bit of Knuckles' body which is his left hand and we can just draw a circle here and then we can sort of, I think the circle's a little bit out a little bit too much but we can just sort of draw guidelines first of all and then what I will do is just re-edit this by just going in and connecting it up with the first one as I didn't do that before so it goes to round about I'd say here to about there with that line so now I go and rub it out and then you have the guidelines so what we're going to go and do now as we've got the guideline we can now go and add in Knuckles' thumb for this and it basically starts from about here goes up a little bit and then you curve it down to try and keep the length in here right and then it will go I would say about here and then you curve it back up a lot of knuckles is drawing in this is to do with shading as well so he'll look a lot better once you actually add in all that shading just to bring him out onto the picture a bit more and then what we're going to go and do with this is go with this line here and then draw with this line here so you've got like a gap in between those two lines and then this kind of meet up around here for you then to get to where the spikes are And this is like a triangle, the spikes, remember? From the previous hand. So basically simple triangles. And you go down like this. Let's say probably about there will do. And then you add in the next spike. So guys, because I didn't check that my recording had finished, I accidentally went and carried on a little bit. But what it was, was the tail as you can see here so you start off with this line it cuts across I did just go and adjust these spikes and make them a little bit longer as well so it goes from here 
across to here, about there, and then back up to this line and then connect over here. And then what I was going to do next was add in Tails' shoes and his feet for us then to be able to have a fully finished knuckles for everything drawn, all the features and everything, but basically it was just to start off with his ankle bits of his shoes, so just simple circular motion it was, so to carry on from that point, as long as you guys are caught up, you guys can pause the video just to catch up, and then once you are back with me, you can then carry on the video, but if you guys are all caught up now, we can go back to this, so it's a circular motion with this, and then it's the same on the other one. And to keep in mind, the angles of Knuckles' shoes are different for each of the feet. So this one will be going down this line, and then this one will be going across this way. Just to keep that in mind. So next off, we're going to go and draw a line down this way. And then we're going to go sort of like, keep it curved for it then to connect up to this. So once you've got that all sorted, we can then add in the basic guidelines for Knuckles' shoes. So it's two lines down this way. So one down this way and then one over this way. For it then to slowly curve. So you're like curving inwards and then you're going out this way. For it then to join up, so something like that you should have, and then for Knuckles' left foot we'll go and keep these at sort of like the same length, try and make everything somewhat symmetrical and similar, so then you keep a consistent drawing. So what we're going to go and do will be going down to this line, since this will be the sort of where the bottom of the sole of his feet will start, where like the sort of metal bit that goes round the sides, at the top of that, so basically if you have that bit and then that bit there. So we will go to about here with it, and then go across this way. And with, with this one, go down, and then curve inwards to join up the line like that. So now you've got these basic outline shapes. We can go in and draw the sole of Knuckles' right shoe. So it goes up to about here. And then we can just add a little bit of extra onto his shoe going out that line that we drew before, like this. And then sort of a bit more of a curve. to go like that, and then you have like the metal bits of Knuckles' shoe, but we can go down like this, just to then section off that red area, and then we can go up with the line about here, to about there, and then you've got a bit of the uh, yellow going down here, and then it will end off there, just like that for Knuckles' issue, and for the metal bit we've got a bit of sort of like a 3D bit on this, so it's like a bit of it facing forward towards us, just like that, and we go up like this, just to make sure you have like a sort of thin line, as it doesn't really show on the sides from checking the drawing, but now we can add in sort of the metal circles that Knuckles has, so we go like this, and you add a little bit underneath that, and it'd be the same for all of these. Try and keep them the same size, as that one's a little bit big, so I'm going to have to rub that out. You've got to fit in three of those circles, and if you think they're most likely not going to fit, you can always just extend it a little bit, as that's what I'm going to do, is just move this down a little bit more just to give me a little bit more room. So the line was about here. And then we go with this. Once I have better lines, this will look a lot better as well. 
So we can keep sort of like this one here, a little bit underneath there, and then there's this one, and a small line underneath there. Just got to be somewhat delicate and careful with this one when it comes to doing Knuckles's sort of circles on his shoes. And if it helps and you find it a little bit easy, you can always just do two circles instead of doing the bit underneath each time after each one. Just like that. And then what we can do is go with this on this line to about here. So we're going to go and just cut off that previous line we had. And there you go, you have Knuckles' shoe sorted there. Let's go and make this line over here a little bit better and we've got that you can go down with this line and that is knuckles's right shoe sorted and i say that but i almost forgot that you have a white circle inside so there we go just have a simple white circle in there so to start off with knuckles on the left shoe we're going to go and draw his sort of this part here on his shoe to section off everything else and then just make this line look a bit better and then from here you just curve that down as it's sort of showing that it's going around the back of it by having that line there so next off what you want to do is go from about here and then get the pencil from here starting there and going down this way then you have the yellow bit of knuckles is shoe pattern and it goes down here with a bit of a curve and then you have it going back up on the other side curve in a little bit and then you go like this to curve in up in the diagonal line there you go so what we're gonna go and draw next will be knuckles is metal part of his shoe and it's sort of like 3d effect remember just like that. Let's have that on the other side as I know that it has a bit of a 3D effect now. Just to make it a little bit easier for us. As you don't have a 3D effect on this side you can't see it as it's not showing. So there we go we can go and draw that. So now what we're going to go and do is draw the circles. As again, if, as again like I said last time if you find it difficult to draw the little bits underneath the circles you can just draw the uh, circles first. So there you go you can make sure you fit it in then and with these ones they're slightly different as they're on like a bit of a curve so you, you see them like this you see like a side of them just like that and then this last one like that there so there you go that's knuckles is metal part of his shoe basically done so there you go that's almost knuckles his shoe done and since i forgot last time with that bit what we're going to go and do this time is draw the white bit without <laughs> me cutting off and saying that we're done with that shoe <laughs> so it's like this it's quite simple so there you go i don't think i've missed anything that all looks fine to me as well so everything on knuckles's body is there and there shouldn't be anything missing and if you follow the tutorial correctly you should have a knuckles like this you can either leave it like this or you can improve the lines and make them look nicer so you have more smoother lines instead of rough sketchy lines and if you'd like to color the drawing I will be doing that after I have off-camera improved the lines so I'll get back to you guys once that is sorted and hopefully your knuckles will be ready for the colouring as well you guys may decide to go and improve your lines as well so I'll see you guys once that is sorted. So guys once you have completely finished your knuckles with improving the lines you can now start colouring in knuckles so what we're going to go and start off with will be all the red colour I'm going to go for all the light colour so I'll be time lapsing this part of the video so it makes things a little bit quicker but you guys can pause the video once I finish this tone of red so you can see every single patch but we'll be just doing all the red all the red on knuckles his skin 
as well as his shoes. So I'll get to that and I'll see you guys once it's all done. So once you've coloured in all of the red of knuckles, this is what you should have. I'll just move the picture up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. There we go, that should do. And that's what knuckles looks like for all the light red. So what we're going to go and do next, we'll be adding in the yellow of knuckles. So next off we're going to be adding in the green part of Knuckles's shoes with his ankle is I will just add in Knuckles's shadowing of his shoes as well since I want to leave the red shadowing for last but I will do the green shadowing as it's not a lot Once that is done, we can now start on Knuckles' mouth area. So now what you want to do is use a dark brown and carefully just go around the edges. So you don't want to ruin this, but this is how it's going to be since it's got another bit of shade on this side. So try not press down too hard. going like this and this side just to try and give knuckles a bit of a 3d effect with his nozzle and his mouth sticking outwards so remember to do this gently and do exactly what I'm doing so you don't ruin it so just like that you have the dark brown done just go down here a little bit more just to give it a bit more of a curve now let's see if I can just use my rubber just to rub this out so it has a little bit less of a line, a bit more of a curve in this that to me looks better as if you just had it as a line it wouldn't have looked as good so now that is sorted we can actually move on to the next part of the mouth which is just to get a sort of like a light orange colour and just do the same as before so we'll find that so it's pretty much, I'll just make sure it's good enough of course when I try it breaks so I'm going to have to look for another one now that this has been resharpened, <laughs> hopefully it shouldn't break. So what we're going to go and do is just go lightly across this. Just to add to the tone and knuckles. You guys might be able to see it. I might just bring it up a little bit. I bring out the tone a little bit more. you should be able to see it there so you've got the dark brown at the top and then the orange nets and then you've got the normal skin just going across in a similar way two before and what you want to do is just sort of leave in sort of this area a little bit of like the previous first tone we used which it would have been light on the other one it's almost white but it's blended in as skin so this is pretty much okay 
may just use the rubber just to give it a little bit better just to lighten the tone down a bit just like that and that's pretty much knuckles done for the mouth and I think that's pretty good I'm happy with that so now what we want to go and do will be adding in the dark tones of knuckles skin all his red parts so I'll get the right red for that and I'll time lapse that and you guys can pause the video once that is done and you should be able to see a difference in tone for knuckles's red skin So guys, this is what Knuckles should look like once you've added in all of the red, dark red and everything. So you've got a lot more of a tone in Knuckles now and you have him sticking out onto the out of the paper a bit more and you've got a bit more definition and everything and it just looks a lot better like this. So hopefully you'll have something similar. So what we're going to do now is add in some shading. But first I just want to just by a light tone colour in this and do the same for his top of his shoe on the buckle bit, no not buckle bit but uh, like the metal circles and everything. Doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be somewhat coloured in lightly so you can still see everything and try since you're doing the colour with pencil try and make sure that you don't colour too hard or else you'll colour over your line and that line will connect with what you just coloured so it'll you'll have lost your previous line if you press down too hard. So now that's done, what I'm going to go and do is start off by the eyes for Knuckles' shadowing. So there's a little bit on the top here, so we can go around here and do that, just like that. And then it just goes out a little bit here, like that, as it curves in. And then but if I don't shake my camera and everything, keep everything focused, you have a little bit on the top here for his previous eye. So not pre for his left eye, sorry, I get my words right. <laughs> and now that's sorted, we can go straight to Knuckles' glove of his wrist bit, wrist glove, and you go down like this. With a bit of a darkish grey and then just a bit of a light grey down this way smudge that bit to make that a little bit lighter you can smudge this as well just to make it look nice I feel like smudging can sometimes look really really good as it flattens the pencil lines and you don't have pencil lines for shading and you have more of a gradient instead when you smudge your shadings. So go on the glove here of knuckles is power knuckles <laughs> and we can go down here on the spike with a line so you have that bit there and then in here just fill that gap and then there's a little bit of a dark bit in this just by here do that a little bit darker there and then inside of this spike or knuckle or whatever you want to call it do a line on this side of it like that and then there's a little, just go around this like that 
and that should be that part of it done then to go to the thumb and then here let's go across like that and that'll be Knuckles's right hand done which is great so we can go and start on the left hand to so go from here on the thumb go right right down here to about there so curve it in it's like a big C shape the way you, that you're sort of shading on this part and then with this one you go up and fill that area and then you go back down sort of curving this and curve in a bit more to go down this way just like that and then the tiniest press just to do a little shading inside that little bit of a gap that you had there so that's Knuckles' his wrist of the glove done and his thumb so it's pretty cool let's make sure that I shaded so I smudged everything down so it just has a bit of a better gradient which is pretty cool there that's sorted and then with the this bit here as we're over there we can go and just smudge that down and you've got a little bit here let's make sure there's nothing anywhere else I think that's okay so that'll be sorted then once you've done that you can go down from this point to here so we'll go up really but I was going to go down then <laughs> back up but it doesn't really matter which way you do it just like that for that one and it's just doing something similar to what we did before really just going around the edges of everything Back in the day with the classic, uh, back in the day with the classic renders, the Sega used to really love shading in everything. They love adding a lot of shadowing to their renders. That's for certain. You get a load of it. I get that there, and then inside here you've got a bit of a darkish tone there, darkish grey. And then you have just going down this side here just like that so that is Knuckles's left hand done which it, it looks fine on the camera with everything so we've pretty much done this bit here that bit of like his marking on his stomach the two gloves so all we've got to do now I'd say would be this here and the sort of the sole bit of his shoe so with the buckle what you have is a bit of a dark tone going down this way and then it goes about here there so it's sort of like from here down so if you do like this sort of shape and then you want to cut it in this gap here and then the rest of it will be darkish colour just like that and then with the other side you want to go and separate what you did before with a bit of a dark tone and you just want to go with a bit dark here not as dark as the line so a little bit dark um, l less darker sorry than the line when you're going down that way now once that's done just do a little bit of a shading there and then on this bit here there's a bit of just make that a little bit dark on this side and that side and smudge it all down to make it look nicer so that's looking good so now with the, this part of the shoe we just want to do a line from here to connect with the other line that I did because it is a little bit of a gap just to give that bit there just a bit of a 3D effect to show that's like the top of it and then that's the side if you at any points are struggling to keep up with me with the shading as I've just realized that it wasn't even on the camera you can always pause it so I'll just let, let you guys see so you, you basically go with the darkish grey here but before you do that you want a line going this way to have that as the top and then that's the side and you want a dark grey going here and then you've got a line there and you go back up to about there with it and you cut back. then you cut back inside to go down like that and then you colour in that gap there for Knuckles' sole of his shoe I'll make sure you guys can see this next bit 
So it's pretty much the same principle. So make a line on the top, go all the way with it. That's a good line. That'll do. And then what you want to do is sort of go with a really darkish tone here, up, and then keep going. Say about till about here. Slowly um, lowering your tone so you have like a bit of a dark tone and then it goes a little bit less darker as it's starting to go a little bit more lighter on this section. And then you've got a little bit of a light bit there to have a bit of the dark bit over here. This part of the shoe. And then just this bit here. Let's go a bit dark there. Make sure you can see that line all the way across and that should do for that bit. So we're nearly there, we're almost finished Knuckles, you're nearly done and all we've got to do now will be to basically go and do this part of the shoe. So we go with a dark line across this way and a little bit of a less darkish line this way. So let's go and make that other first line we did a bit darker so you can see the other line. A little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it from mine, but I, I can see it, but I'm not always sure if the camera picks up the same as me. And then there's like a dark line going down this way. Filling that bit in. And then once you've got that, you go and make sure we can get those lines in. With everything. There we go. And what you need to do is to just do it a little bit darker than the middle. And that's pretty much that all done. So if you want to have a closer look at the shoes, I would just zoom it in and then you guys can pause it. So that's what the shoes should look like if you guys need any help with any fine detail. So that's what the shoes come out as. So hopefully you've got something similar to that. So I'll zoom right back out and get get the full picture so there you go guys that's what knuckles looks like once you've from following this tutorial finished off what we did with the shoes you should have something like this and i hope it went well for you and that you got yourselves a really good knuckles i really hope that everyone has learned something from this and learned how to draw with better lines as well as how to learn how to use shapes to draw a basic outline so the way we start with an oval for the head and then we basically so we didn't have to start from the mouth and then sort of build it up and maybe have it out of proportion but it just helps to have uh, shapes sometimes to start off with how you're going to do everything so i hope everyone here who followed this tutorial and wanted to draw one themselves i hope it came out well that's the main thing and that if you're not drawing this but wanting to learn how to draw knuckles with a few tips or anything, I hope you've, from watching this, come out with a new outlook on how to draw knuckles from the tips and the way that I've done it and everything. And that you'll be able to learn, uh, so this person's done it this way, maybe I need to do it that way as well to help me improve and make my drawing a little bit better. If it's for one thing, what I've learned is that the better, your, the better your lines are, the better the drawing comes out. For example, if you've got lines which are all the same, all the lines are the same length and width, and you've not got thicker lines than others, if you don't need, as just to keep consistency, that you need each line at least to be the same, and the lines should always be as smooth as possible you don't want lines where it's all ragged and sort of squiggly where you've sort of lost your line when going down with it so you want to just keep it straight or smooth throughout and everything so hopefully like i say everything came out well for you hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you are happy with the outcome that has come from me drawing this and everything be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and you think this drawing is good 
that would be great for you to show your appreciation that way and if you guys did enjoy the video so if you guys want to see more art tutorials of cartoons from your favorite video games comics tv series movies etc then be sure to subscribe this will be the right channel for you to get that content and everything with the notification bell turned on so you don't miss an upload as after this I plan to do my third how to draw sonic tutorial which will feature another classic sonic style design and that's what I'll leave you with. I'll leave you with a cliffhanger so you can try and figure out what classic sonic drawing it will be from the era of classic sonic so yeah I hope you guys will look forward to that and that you enjoyed this video and just on a side note since I almost forgot be sure to comment down in the comments below if you've got any tips to help me improve as well as I always am willing to listen to other people with their tips so I'm always looking to improve my drawings and everything as well as trying to help other people so yeah be sure to leave comments down below showing me if you enjoyed this video and if you like the drawing etc or who's your favorite character you'd like to see me draw basically if you want to give me any suggestions on how I should do a drawing what type of drawing if I should should just do a pencil drawing a pencil and color drawing or like a felt tip color instead of coloring pencils I do want to move on to digital art and everything so yeah I, I think I rambled on for long enough now <laughs> you guys have probably had enough of me with this video because it's probably gonna be quite a long video for you guys to listen to me so <laughs> I'll leave you I'll let you go now so you guys are awesome I hope you have a great rest of your day week wherever you're from and I'll see you guys in the next video